All right, I'm driving to Maracas Beach. Actually, I took one wrong turn already, so I'll start the video again. Slight left, then turn left. The streets here can be uh, quite confusing, to say the least. I think I am driving on, they consider this a roundabout, and they like to call it the largest roundabout in the world. But in Malaysia, they like to say they have the biggest, because this roundabout isn't very round, it's got an odd shape to it. So you could do you consider this a roundabout, I'm not sure. You know. It's like a big loop that with a one-way road, so they consider it a roundabout. In five hundred meters, turn right. Uh, if I remember right, this is a street where the Trinidad Carnival will pass through. I remember standing here as TGIF Fridays. Um, I think in Queens Park is a lot of the... Turn right, then turn right. The Queens Park is where a lot of the carnival stuff happens. Turn right. In 600 meters. Now yeah, it's like I, my Google Maps is like turn right, but then it shows turn left, so it's not. Google Maps isn't doing very well here. This is weird. It's like a. That is. This looks like a roundabout, but it's not. I think. In 600 meters, continue straight. Still getting a feel for my driving here, so. That's, that's, so um, that's why I'm not talking much. You know, I'm still trying to focus on the driving. It looks pretty nice here.
I wouldn't be surprised a lot of these people are actually driving to the beach also, so. Uh, if that was the case, I'll just stay behind some people. Everybody turning. Oh, no. This Indian music probably wouldn't give me a copyright violation, so that's why I'd probably just leave it on the channel like this. Now for YouTube. Uh, today it's uh, Sunday, 3.10 p.m. right now. No, I'm sorry, 1.10 p.m. So I started about 1 p.m. People just do some weird things. I'm sure we would like to pass this truck here. Okay, he turned off.
That's an incredible road right there. Driving here reminds me of driving in uh, Jamaica. This guy's driving really slow. Come on. In 200 meters, turn left. This is just in, this is insane how drive slow he's driving.
can't be a local driving this slow. Rasta man, it's probably high as hell. Oh, there's a lot of cars behind me because this guy's driving so slow. I'm beginning to think he's driving this slow on purpose to piss us off. Wow, some nice jungles here.
you look at uh, Google Maps, all it shows is a lot of zigzags. It's not doing very good. what some things that help keep me from getting bored when I travel is uh, driving so having this rental car is nice I could just take a nice ride drive you know and something else is uh, being able to swim in the ocean so if, if I have those two I'm really happy with somewhere um, I you know last couple times places I've been I didn't have a rental car didn't have somewhere uh, to swim and just kind of didn't like it. Uh, Tobago had somewhere. I, I went swimming there. I was like, wow, I really missed this. I didn't have a rental car though. But. At least here I have a uh, rental car. It's nice to just drive. And the rental car is... Uh, about $41 per day with no insurance, so it's not too bad. Using Ace Rental Car. I used them in Curacao and, you know, it came out okay, you know, so I'll try them again. There's, they always have the cheapest price so far. Uh, Marcus Bay is about four kilometers, but where I'm going should be about six kilometers. Ocean, nice view. to be all downhill from here. Here. 
More Indian music. That's what's on the radio. Radio is not very good here. Sorry, I have to concentrate on my driving here. I don't want to fly off a cliff. Basically, I'm driving to the Maracas Beach. I'm gonna make a YouTube video there. I'm gonna, if it's nice, I'll walk around, make a YouTube video there. Um, I'm gonna try a shark and bake. And then, that's about it. I really wanna try one of those shark and bakes. Let's see what the beach looks like here. Whoa, this road. Whoa. Guarantee this song gave me a copyright streak. Radio here is not very uh, good. I see a beautiful view of a mountain. Some mountains there. Got 1.4 kilometers. That's less than a mile.
takes out, of course, is a credit union. Mm, nice, uh, nice bay there. How or what can be done to help the credit union movement? You got, for example, they have issues now with banks and the interest rates they charge and so forth, which in my mind provides an opportunity for the, the cooperative movement. Um, but then you, you start to hear about legislation to restrict and, and is that what is needed or is, is there needed um, legislation to help in a variety of companies that still come into the financial system? Gentlemen, just before I say this, persons who come up against corruption seem to become untouchable. Meaning those who, are, who hold authority in private and otherwise don't want to come close to those persons and these are the persons who come against corruption. I want to hear your point of view respect to the whistle door legislation. That would, that would protect those who want to see and end the corruption because there are people who have seen things even as you speak and in the past, but they are afraid to speak out because they know victimization and they can be they can be um, literally abused by doing so. You spoke just about the collision movement. What is it to protect co to prevent corruption within the collision movement? That I've seen massive corruption in the movement, and that what what is preventing even speak about it because of different connections and indications. So the question is. Well, people talking about corruption. That's what's in the news. And in respect to us really coming together to really remove this curve of corruption, where nearly everybody, it becomes a point where everybody needs a kickback in order to do what they're supposed to do. How can we do that? Thank you. Thanks, Abu. I don't know if you want that. No, I am. That's out of your I mean, yeah, it steps out of my realm of expertise, but... um. And I'm not <clears throat> really aware of corruption, you call it credit union movement, etc. But I think of corruption as a whole in general. We need greater commitment from the economic authorities. Nice, beautiful from bay from here. Oh, nice. Sorry, sorry, not just the economic authorities, but for the authorities in general at the state level. The government, leadership at all levels. We need greater commitment from them. I think finding a parking right. spot will be hard for me. It all goes back down again to the quality of institutions. If you have better corporate governance structures in place, then that means you have better set activities that, that go on in the country. We, again, we have anti-corruption laws, but we envision that we have to strengthen inspections as well. And, and the, the, the uh, revenue authority is actually an authority that could facilitate that whenever it, 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 it is set up in, in order to strengthen inspections to make sure that we limit fraudulent activities and, and not, not just pertaining to, uh, to, to, to tax avoidance, but, but you'll be able to pick up on certain yeah. unethical activities as well. Increase, All right, so, increase so penalties. You, yeah. Well. All right. So we we know you need you need to go uh, you know shortly because you say you have to be in Shabona for for, for two o'clock. Yeah. For two o'clock. Yeah. Uh, right. But listen, we needed to talk about the budget and the coming budget. And I mean, I have a number of things here I wanted to ask you. But you know, in a general sense, where do you think we're going with this budget? What do you think would be the? All right. Of the budget? Um. Um. The, ta the, the oil and gas. I price decided this is probably. The easiest place for me to park. Uh, yeah, this is the easiest place for me to park. So, I'll end the video here. I have to take the camera off my uh, car.